Hi, in this video I thought I'd give you a tour of the business and management subject guide so you can familiarise yourself with what's available on it. Now I won't go too in depth into the resources inside the guide, I just want to show you what's available from the guide. So there is, other vi there is another video available showing you how to find your way to the guide but you can find subject guides within the student portal, the iLancaster app and from the library homepage. The address obviously is here at the top so you could just mirror that and type that in. So when you first land on the subject guide you will see this page. At the top there is a search box and this is a OneSearch search box so you can do your searches here and it will search our OneSearch system. On the getting started page which is the landing page you have these different sections so when you click on subject specific databases it will take you to this section here and you will see some of our as it says subject specific databases these are specifically business and management databases and they are some really large journal databases such as Business Source Complete, Emerald and ProQuest. All excellent sources um, and alternates to if you don't want to use OneSearch you can come direct to these and you know that what you're getting is coming from quality business journals and just those alone you won't get things from other areas like you would do in one search so just bear that in mind when you when you start your searching that this might be an option for you but for 90 percent of people one search will probably do the job you'll also find links to some of our other databases here as well such as Henry Stewart talks which I'll we'll touch on a bit further on because that will come under news and media sources here and if you're looking at anything to do with HR practice there's expert HR now during the summer of 2020 there are some issues around logging into this and there's a temporary um, login password page here but by the time that you see this with term coming around hopefully that will be sorted but expert HR is the database for anybody that's looking for benchmarking legislation anything like that around um, human resources you will also find on here links to market research etc and you'll also find a link to multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary databases. I always have problems saying that. And these are databases which aren't just specifically business and management, but they cover a lot of things. Um, you've got Academic Search Ultimate, which is the sister database to Business Source Premier. That contains a lot of sociology, psychology, a lot of crossover which goes into business because actually business theory and things like that, leadership, teamwork, all of that comes from sociology so it's worth having a look. You've got things like Science Direct which comes from Elsevier, the world's largest publisher, things like Springerlink, Wiley and Thesis and Dissertations from ProQuest. Again, all excellent um, databases that you can use. Further down the page here you have abstract um, databases so you won't necessarily get full text in Scopus and Web of Science but they can give you links through to journals that you can then look at. This, these two I would say are probably more useful to um, master's students and above into PhD. And finally at the bottom of the page you've got a link to all our business databases and when I click on this this will take you to a list of the 52 databases that we have for business and management and you can scroll through and see what's there and under each one you will find a little um, description of what's there. I recommend that you spend you know, a good 5 or 10 minutes having a look at this and seeing what is available to you. Scrolling back to the top of the page we then have the other tabs here so navigating around your subject guide the menu system on the left hand side is easily clickable and easily findable you've got your mind you've got your um, system here scrolling down just a little bit more you've got online chat with myself and Caroline so if you click on this this will open up a Microsoft Teams chat so you can actually ask us instant questions and usually we are around between the hours of 9 to 5 Monday to Friday outside of those hours if there's any issues we will get back to you by email. You've got our contact details here so there's myself and there's Caroline so if you want to email Caroline you can do if you want to book an appointment you can do that as well. There is also a featured database and our featured database at the moment is Sage Research Methods. This is a fantastic database um, although this won't give you 
business information as such in like the other journal databases it will give you um, journals books videos case studies around actual research methods so if you want to learn how to use questionnaires in your research if you want to use how to do focus groups you want to learn how to do a literature search all of that you will find in sage research methods and it's excellent quality information it's very intuitive to use and it has this thing called the methods map in it which will let you visually search through um, the information that's there I really can't stress enough this is a fantastic database so have a look at that but as I said on the left hand side here is our menu system and this is how you find things so if you're going to find in books you will find there a list of our ebook collections specifically around business and management and um, ebook collections multidisciplinary etc all of these are available via OneSearch so you will find them there under articles again you will find a list of our A to Z of e-journals you can click on this and see everything that we subscribe to there are over 40,000 of those across every curriculum area and here you will find the ranked journal list. I'm often asked about this. This is the Financial Times Top 50 Journals and the Chartered Association of Business Journals. So this is where your lectures may mention to you four star journals, five star journals, etc. This is where you'll find out what they are. Now if you're a member of Accounting and Finance there is a link here through to extra databases that that department subscribes to. You'll need to talk to the administrators in that department to get access to them. And finally, here we have a link and a video showing you how to link Google Scholar to your library collections. So don't be afraid to use Google Scholar. It can do some very good things. Have a look at the video and you can link it to OneSearch and our library systems to make your life easier. We then have finding economic research papers. So we have CEPR and MBER, the um, European and the North American um, research uh, portals for economics papers um, access is available there the next tab finding market research and company information now these are not necessarily academic databases but they are um, probably the best commercial databases available for you you can use these you can cite things from them you can get reports the top ones the market research reports things like market research um, global market information database and market line will give you lots of analysis you can find SWOT analysis in there pestle analysis commentary financial figures etc you've got things like Mintel which will just be purely UK we only have the categories that it gives here drink food food service leisure media and technology You've also got Walk, which is advertising, so that will find you things on advertising campaigns, both in the media, things for B2B, B2C, a whole host of other things. Anything you need to know about a company and its advertising policies, you can find in there. Marketing Mentor is, um, as it says there, practical skills, so that will give you frameworks. It will um, give you a framework for an ad campaign on social media. It's kind of... Um, a database for marketing professionals and it's available to you. We also have Statista which is our statistics portal. It contains thousands and thousands of statistics, graphics, um, infographics around uh, any company, any anything you can think of you will find in there. It's an amazing database. As a librarian I'm sad to say I have a favorite database and Statista is my favorite database scrolling down for company information we have a whole host of things here these are purely what I would say the more financial side of things fame Osiris and bank focus um, are an accountants dream they will give you reams and reams of financial data on companies and industries so it's worth having a look at them as well I must stress again most of what's on this page you can only access from this page you won't find it in one search because they're commercial databases under news and media resources this is where you'll find our newspaper access we have access to two very large newspaper databases called Nexus and Access World News these contain most of the major world's newspapers and they're updated daily you'll also find access to a subscriber edition of the Financial Times 
and if you're off campus the Financial Times off campus sign up link. Sign up with your Lancaster email address and this will give you access to the FT on your device of choice for up to a year. Underneath you have the newspaper archives, everything from Bloomberg through to Vogue and you'll have these going back to the 1800s and before. So here for instance we've got the Economist going back to 1843. Combine that with the current Economist subscription in one search you have every edition of the Economist ever. The same with the Financial Times underneath going back to 1888. Every daily edition of the Financial Times is at your fingertips. That is an immense amount of information. The Guardian, the LGBT, New York Times, Telegraph, Times Digital and as I said at the bottom if you're interested in the the fashion business you've got the Vogue archive there. Underneath you've got the television and film archive and there's a whole host of them there um, through the Internet Moving Image, through the BBC archive, British Film Council etc. The two main ones that um, I would like to talk to you about here are Box of Broadcast. Box of Broadcast is a TV portal uh, although it also has radio in there as well and it has over a million programs you can search through the archive of the BBC and any other um, UK TV channel that's on Freeview you have to register with this um, but once you do you've got full access to that it will give you space in which to record programs you can make clips from programs it's a fantastic resource and um, yeah it's just excellent you also have the Henry Stewart talks. This is almost a thousand um, lectures, lectures and case studies um, in the business and management section. There are an accounting and finance section. There is an entrepreneurship section, and it's excellent. It comes from business leaders. It comes from top academics around the world. It's kind of like TED Talks for business. So have a look at both of those two. Check them out. Um, and you'll find a wealth of information. Don't be afraid to use new media in your studies, certainly not with a quality newspaper like the FT or indeed um, HS Talks. These type of things will underpin and expand on the academic articles that you've been reading or the books that you've been reading and help um, bring the information that you've got into, into the real world. Scrolling back up. If you need to look for a dissertation or thesis, you will get access here to the ProQuest dissertation um, databases and the Ethos um, one as well from the British Library. So you're covered there with access to um, thesis and dissertations. Under useful websites, you'll find all sorts of stuff on here. Company information from the likes of Forbes, from Companies House, Yahoo Finance. Then you'll have organisations. So the Bank of England, Chartered Accounting, um, Association of Chartered Certified Accountants and other ones on there as well. You've got working papers. So you've got the working papers from all these different places. Uh, again, working papers are something that certainly when you get to master's level and PhD level you need to be looking at and seeing what is in the pipeline in terms of research and what is coming out. And then finally on this page we've got general websites taking you through to um, more of the magazine type or commentary type stuff that's out there on the web. Under finding statistics you'll obviously find a link there to Statista again. You've got books on statistics and as you scroll down you'll find various other different statistics websites such as Bureau of Labor Statistics from the US. You've got Labosta there, employment statistics from over 200 countries. You've got Quandil which is kind of like Google for social, economic and financial data sets. UK Data Service, UK National Statistics, OECD, pretty much every statistics service that you can think of. Under training and support, you will find links through to learning and development. You'll find links on our online guides. You'll also find links to our videos, etc. And there are feedback there that you can give. There are online tutorials. So this is links through to getting started with the library and some video tutorials there also. And finally there is a section on referencing and the referencing guide. So when you um, start at the university you'll be given um, a referencing guide on Harvard which is what they use in the management school and this is where you can find um, information around that. So that's been a whirlwind tour through the business and management guide. Hopefully you found it useful. As I said, there is a lot of information on there. There is a lot of databases on there. 
um, I will be making further videos around about different types of things. There will be a video on using newspapers, videos on using market research. So have a look at our eStream channels and our YouTube channels to see those. If you need any help at all, please contact either myself or Caroline and we'll be happy to look through the guide with you and explain a few other things. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.